Hi everyone, Hello. Pedro here, Sarah Rebecca here. So I'm gonna just make this video for my family and friends to talk a little bit about us because you guys may be wondering, Pedro is dating someone in Australia. Yes I am. Who a is it? Girl. Who it's is me. who is she? So yeah, so if you wanna start talking about a little bit about yourself. Yes. So my uh, name is Sarah Rebecca. That's my first name, my last Sarah name is Clark. Pepper. Anyway, I am 26, turning 27 on the 2nd of May. And Don't forget to tell her happy yeah. birthday for her on social media. Birthday. I love love. <laughs> oh. um, I'm a doctor. I work at the John Hunter Hospital in Newcastle in the emergency department, which is good but also challenging at times. I like working with the children. I also grew up not in Newcastle but in uh, Wallingba which is in the far north coast of New South Wales. You might know it, it's closest to Byron Bay or the Gold Coast which is an hour and 15 minutes away. It's coastal country so it's not like a city, it's beautiful, it's got so many beaches and it's really really warm. Yeah. And Amor has been there, what did you think about home? Three or four times. Amazing. Every time I have a day off or a time off, we try to go there and enjoy it. It's very nice, very beautiful. The water is not cold, you can swim and it's very lovely. There's a little town that we can have sausage rolls <laughs> <laughs> and coffee. Yeah, it's good. So, yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about how we start knowing each other and how we see each other. I see you with my eyes. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, you know, use the eyes to see. So she always make fun about my English, so it's alright. So I was, it was like a um, powerhouse uh, thing in church, and I was serving. I was on platform, and then I saw this beautiful lady sitting there by herself. Is that me? Yes, it was oh. you. <laughs> that one. And then I was like, oh, she's alone. I'm gonna go and say hi. So I got very excited. It was like I went there. And came like, oh, hello, hi, I'm Pedro. Hi, Pedro. <laughs> and then she's like, hi. Before we stop. It's like, Wasn't that bad? It was. <laughs> For me, it was. <laughs> and then um, I say, hi, I'm, what, who are you? It's like, hi, I'm Sarah. And that, that's it. No more talk. Before we stop all the time. So we have a saying in Portuguese that she gave me an ice. Mm. Yeah, me deu um gelo. Gave me ice. Yes, to the bank. <laughs> and then, um, well, just the days just go by, and then I saw her again at church the next week, the next week, and then I just saw she Were was. Are you stalking me? No, he's talking, but I think he was keep, stalking it, keep me. her on my eyes, uh -huh. not stalking. Well, <laughs> who on earth nowadays just go on Instagram, have a little look? Oh, that's <laughs> her, right? But it was blocked. Her, her profile is a private, so mm -hmm. it was like. And then um, she started going out with another friend, another Brazilian friend called Rebecca. He was a girl, yeah. Yeah, Rebecca. So <laughs> we go like, she, her, her best friends are Brazilian, the boyfriends are Brazilian. So you must go to Brazil soon. Yes. Right. And then um, maybe seven months later after that, I got a message from her. So like every time I saw her at church again, I say just hi, but nothing more. Yeah. And then I saw one time and then she invited me for a salsa. Yeah, because I think I think we started talking a little bit, a bit more, because yeah. he was Brazilian. <laughs> and because my best friends were Brazilian. So then I'm like, I'll talk to him. Yeah. <gasps> you know what happened? What happened? We went out to grill oh, the yes, burger place. The burger place. Yes. And, and then we chatted really well. Yeah, it was the time that she gave me attention. The first time. The first time. Then we talk a little bit. Yes. Then a few weeks later, she invited me for salsa. I was I like, did. oh. did. My first time at salsa. First time at salsa. I was like, wow, that's quite interesting. Yeah. Let's do it. So I went after Jiu Jitsu. Haha, <laughs> Grace Barra, Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she has done once. And at then done um, after salsa, which was great, she, I texted her saying that. I have feelings for her. No. Yes. And then you only say you are, you better be friends and you friends on me. No, you didn't say you had feelings for me. I did. The more. No, I said 
So he didn't. Okay. So it was really obvious that he had feelings really for me. Really obvious. Right? Like <laughs> so obvious. Anyway, I didn't want to break his heart. Oh. Right? So I sent him a message and said, "Look, this is where I'm at. I'm not ready to have a relationship, but I don't mind being friends." Friend zone, guys. <laughs> this is called friend zone. <laughs> and he was super sweet and was like, "I totally understand." And was like, "That's okay." And I felt, well, you know, it's always good being around good friends. So I was like, "Why not?" And then, but it was good because <laughs> she friends on me for one year. Yeah. One year. Yeah. Three hundred sixty-five days. Right? Um, ano. Um, ano. 365 days. Okay, they get it. They get it. <laughs> Keep going. And then, one night, so something on the way happened that I'm not gonna mention. <laughs> if you wanna know, ask him. Ask me or her, and then you'll tell yeah. you. And then she started texting me back. But before that, we kinda not like not texting much or talking much because life got busy she was working far Elsewhere. away so like then once she went back she came back I was like oh and then I start texting and calling more and when one night I was going to Jiu Jitsu no yeah yeah and then she called me while I was holding my phone to text her so story is is that I was driving in my car talking to my mom and then I was like, I just feel like going out tonight. I don't feel like going home straight away. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Pedro. <laughs> and I was like, Mom, I'll call you back. So I hung up on Mom, and then I called. Yeah. Amo. And, and then. And he just happened to be. That I was texting her, invited her for a dinner. So then I asked him. I said, Hey, what are you doing? Do you feel like doing? What's that dance thing? Do you feel like going to time zone? And practicing that dance machine because I knew Amor. he loved it. <laughs> no, it's okay, they know. <laughs> and and then do you want to go to a dinner afterwards? Yeah, so we got some good time in the time zone. I did pretty bad on the dance machine. No, you didn't. <laughs> then we got a nice dinner, and then we you went back good. home. And then the next day, I texted her saying, "Hey, what if I tell you I have feelings for you?" Yes, and I said, that makes me smile. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, something is happening there. Mm -hmm. I can see some breakthrough in this friend zone. <laughs> and I hope they're getting the, out, the audio. Because, yes. And then, um, so, in that night, because I felt she was a bit open, so I was like, that's my opportunity, I cannot let go. And then I asked, how about if you can pray together for like four or five weeks, and see if we're on the same page of being in a relationship together. And then she said, that looks good to me, so let's try it. Yeah. And then we try it, and it's been seven months since she mm -hmm. said, yes, I, would, I wanna well, be your soon. girlfriend. Soon oh, just seven months. <laughs> and then it's been close to seven months mm -hmm. that that I've been annoying him and bossing him around and telling him what to do and dressing him, but he's not dressing like I Well, I was, dress. but he used my jacket as a pillow. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, that's it. It's been good. It's been challenging, as oh, you may know. Have poor guy, yeah. He has to put up with me. <laughs> so I'm Brazilian. My first language is Portuguese. She's Australian. Her first language is in English. Yes. So you try to keep communications the key point because it's important for a good relationship. I love her family, mom and dad, they are beautiful. So when people, they always, they got me in the family as a son. <laughs> and you did pretty, it. You said son. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so many names came in my mind. I want to have to which one? Oh, son. And that's it. Yeah, huh? Oh, oh, that's secret. Don't tell them to them. <laughs> it's going pretty good, by the way. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Te amo. Say te amo, amor. You know te, te amo. amo. Yes. Beijos. Beijos e saudade. Saudade. Saudade.
We are planning to go to Brazil soon to see you guys and yes. introduce the beautiful girlfriend and to us. you and us. <laughs> and that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Bye. Put your arm around me. Ha <laughs> ha